The U.S. Air Force strikes a deal with the city of Airway Heights following decades of chemical contamination to the water there. The new agreement details the air, that the Air Force will cover some of the cost to purchase drinking water for the city of Airway Heights since contamination forced a closure of city wells earlier this year. KXY 4's Ariana Lake brings us more on this deal as she found out some people outside city limits think they're being left behind. Ariana? Mm -hmm. You know, of course, this is great news for anyone who lives in the city. It's great news for the city, but I spoke to one man. He says he's lived here his entire life. He's worried about the future and the safety of people of private wells that live outside of town. More than six months ago, people living in the city of Airway Heights found out they couldn't drink the water coming out of their faucets. Jerry Gertz people is president of a nonprofit public water system. It's about two miles north of Fairchild Air Force Base. He still remembers the frantic calls he got that day. Originally, my phone was ringing off the hook because everybody had the same concerns as I did, and I tried to reassure them. Chemical runoff from firefighting efforts at Fairchild Air Force Base was blamed for contaminating dozens of wells, including several that supplied the city's tap water. Now, the U.S. Air Force has agreed to reimburse Airway Heights for its cost to purchase up to 439 million gallons of drinking water from the city of Spokane over the next year. A representative for the Air Force reaffirmed in a statement that the Air Force isn't walking away from their commitment to the city. But Gertz is questioning their commitment to people outside of the city. I don't think they're doing enough. He's not, you know, they talk a big talk about being transparent and it seems like everything Airway Heights, they're doing everything for Airway Heights. Gert says his association paid out of their own pocket for water testing because they wanted to know if their private wells were safe. And he says the response team did not have plans to test them. Right now I know it's clean, but like I said, nobody knows what the future's going to hold for us out here. Testing is underway now to map a potential migration pathway to drinking water in communities around the base. The Air Force is working with city leaders here to develop a plan for a long-term solution to what has happened here in this water crisis. Live in Airway Heights tonight, Ariana Lake, KXLY4 News. Thank you, Ariana.